first part of Watery goes past a road. It's kind of parallels a road. Well marked. It does have a little parking lot. Easy to find. And so far, the trail's really nice. out on this field and you can see there's a Palmetto Trail sign here on that post. And then you're going to head this way. I've done this trail once before and we did it the other direction so I kind of remember it. But it is marked. Just, it's difficult to see. A little confusing right here. sign right there so you know where you're going. You're going to walk along this fence for a ways next to the road. But at least next to the road there's a breeze. Another parking lot here. I mean, that's where I came from. And then, if you look right by the parking lot, there's another sign that points down this trail here. That goes on into the watery swamp off this road that we've been traveling on for the last couple of miles. It's a nice little shelter. Looks like it might have power and even running water, but I don't know for sure. We don't need to stop yet, so we'll keep going on. This is the trail right now. Coming out of the woods, here is the Palmetto Trail sign, and we're going to cross over the railroad tr tracks here, go to the other side. This is an unused railroad track over here that we're going to hike along. I really like this trail. This is one of my favorites, I think. It has so many different things. The old railroad tracks, the swamps, walking beside a road old cemetery so far, but wait till you see the swamps, they're so pretty. Baby, where are you? There you are. And we're just getting started in the swampy area. This is kind of cool. You can tell how long it's been since the railroad tracks have not been used judging by the size of the trees that any train coming through here would hit. I'm not sure how many years, but it's been a while. Some of these trees are really big. Well, we just saw our first alligator. Barely, he jumped into the water and disappeared before I could get a video of him. Bird right here. Do you see him right in the middle?
We did this passage in February. It's generally really hot. It was 80 degrees. a long boardwalk. Look at this cool little suspension bridge. This is going to be scary for Pee Wee. Do you want me to carry you across there, bud? At the end of the boardwalk. Another trestle. The swamp is a little drier than the last time I was here, I think. Right now it's pretty dry right here along the edge. These are dinner plate sized mushrooms. They are huge. Does this mean I have six more to go? About five and a half miles in. Look at all the turtles on that log. And apparently animals use this railing as a walkway. There's poop everywhere along it. Raccoons? Possums maybe? Four more. poop. It's an animal highway. <laughs> and more. <laughs> Three more. Two more. Or one more, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
lot of water. Last time I came through here, it was pretty flooded. But now it's just right in the little streams. This is the last one. Okay, so right past that last trestle, trestle number one, it looks like the Palmetto Trail goes off this old railroad trestle and heads down here. Oh, yay. I have 3.4 miles left out of the 11.4 that I started with. That is good news. How oh, pretty, look at this. And a bench. Right where you need it, too. Very tempting. Oh yeah, especially when you see that there's some uphill right here. Well marked. Video never shows how steep these hills are. And there's where we were. Down there. Another well marked turn. And more up hills. Oh, yeah. It keeps going up too. Way up high now. All the Spanish moss. So pretty. This warm weather, little buds on the trees. There's a nice little shelter. 
Whatever. A little parking lot over here, it looks like. Not finished with the swamp yet. A little more. on a log. Back in a little bit of sand, but not much really. It's not deep. Not like yesterday doing the high hills. It was just super deep sand. Very hard to walk in. It was like trying to walk on a beach for miles and miles. Okay, we just came from this road here, and this is a tricky spot that I got off trail a little ways on. There's this yellow barrier, and you go around the yellow barrier, and it's marked with a yellow sign. And then you see this, which Palmetto Trail goes back that way, which is the way we came from. But then there are no signs right here at all as to which way to go. So I assumed straight ahead, and that was not correct. You go over here, this little road. Fortunately, I had a Venza maps on so that I could see that I was going slightly in the wrong direction, so I turned around pretty fast. But here is the sign, clear over here, back in the shade where you can't really see it from that intersection. So anyway, there it is. We're officially in Poinsett State Park right now. A little less than a mile away from the car, which is 11.4 miles from where we started. We'll be happy to see the car, but this is such a nice trail. Be sure to take plenty of water because this is like probably the best water source we've had on the trail. And it's less than a mile from the end. Okay, coming out right here, here's a sign. And here's a sign. So it looks like we go down this way. We don't continue on across, straight across. Sometimes you just have to go down the trail and wait and see if there's another blaze. Then check your little dot on a Venza and it'll show you right where you are. And if you're off the trail by a tiny bit, then you know you took a wrong turn and you go back which is no fun to have to retrace your steps. There's one. So, no signs yet, but I did check the Avenza map and it looks like we're still on the trail. It's been a ways without signage, but sometimes that happens. It's just this orange blaze right now. No Palmetto Trail signs yet. Seen some more orange blazes. So it's a long ways apparently before or if you see one again. But I'll show it to you if I do see one. <laughs> Make sure you download Avenza Maps. It'll really help you. Do I see a Palmetto Trail sign? Yes, I do. Finally. So 
apparently this is also known as the Scout Trail. And here are all the other Scout Trail. Kawasi and to Campbell Pond goes that way and that way. But we're still going this way and we're almost there. My watch just told me that I had walked already walked 11.4 miles so it might be a little longer either that or I took some extra steps in there somewhere maybe when I had to turn around I didn't go very far out of the way though when I took the wrong turn it looks like another trail goes off here what trail is this oh, no sign We'll stay on this one now. There are a lot of bikers in here. There's great bike trails in Poinsett State Park. Not the kind of bike trails I could do, but I think they're considered intermediate level. Here we are. Coming out to the lake at the ranger station, playground. Bathrooms are over there. And my van is over here someplace. Parking lot. So if you're if you park here at the ranger station and are headed to the Palmetto Trail, you have to go this way back toward that little shelter. I don't see any signs. 